you go. Two coffees, one here, and one to go. Thanks, Uncle Zul. Yep. I'm getting one for Amir. Actually, it's also for me. I was up till 3 a.m. studying last night. Huh? Mama, too much coffee for you is just as bad as not enough sleep. No? Yeah, but it's geography. You can't study so much if you don't sleep. Okay. What if you fall asleep during the paper? Well, that's why I'm going to be chugging this right outside the exam hall. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Get going. All the best. Thanks. Well, the boy came in for an asthma attack, but I suspect it's something more than that. Yeah, I think so too. We should order a spirometric test and check his medical records for his previous results. Everything all right? Yeah, it's nothing important. I still think we need to do more for Melissa, but Adam won't listen to me. Oh, don't worry, Ma. I'll, I'll speak to Ko. Oh, I'm not sure if speaking to him will make much difference. Yeah, that Adam seems to be getting worse and worse over the years. He does always seem so low energy and tired these days. Even more so than usual. Oh, and um, Jay mentioned that he hasn't been sleeping well. Well, that's his knee injury. Yeah. Go has been having such bad luck lately. I think it must have something to do with losing the gym. I do wonder what happens to make him want to give the gym up just like that, though. Oh, did Wafik say anything? No. Nothing much. Uh, Diana, I, I think it's a good idea for you to talk to him. Yeah. Holding her clothes are so slow, like a snail, you know. There's so much to do. I think I better go and help. You help? No, 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 no. Why? You think I cannot? You definitely cannot. Last time Wati went home, you complained and complained and complained. So tired, la. so painful. La. My ears are so tired and painful, you know. Then how? Like this, huh? She's going to work until tomorrow morning. No need to sleep. Ah. We better get her some help. Hire someone part-time. Who? Ask Diana to send one of her cleaners from help is here. I do. We really need help here. Ready to order? Yeah. Can I get two fish and chips? Two? Wow. You must be really hungry today. I'm ordering for Joy also. She's going to be starving after her paper, so I don't want her to eat. That's really thoughtful of you. No, no, not thoughtful. I just don't want her to eat my food. Okay. Be right back. Yeah. Help is here! Di Dinah, hmm. you are here to do the cleaning? Yeah. If I do it, then you'll get charged. Huh? Ah, yeah, you cannot do that. Yeah, Diana, you cannot. You are running a business. Yeah, we just need a maid. Then you just send somebody, anybody. It's okay, I can do it, really. Auntie Diana, you're going to be Uncle Jinkai's wife. You can't be our maid. Mel, in the olden days, daughter-in-laws were dressed like maids. From day to night, their evil mother-in-laws would torture them with chores. But that was in the old, old days. Uh, when mother-in-laws were evil, not nice and kind like nowadays. <laughs> okay, so where's Wati? She's gonna buy bread. She'll be back soon. Okay, uh, then I will go and poke around for some cleaning supplies. Just pretend I'm not here. Hey, Billy, you think this is going to work? You and your funny ideas. Hey, Amir. Hey, hey, Joy. Mandy didn't know you were coming. We texted about it yesterday, remember? Don't tell me you forgot. You guys have perfect timing. Here's your fish and chips, and Amir, your fish and chips. Uh, Mandy, do you want one too? 
Um, is it nice for me and Joy? Oh, uh, this... Uh, yeah, I order for them first. Ah, yes. Uh, sorry about that, Amir. Uh, just tell me when you're ready to order. Uh, thanks. Oh my god, I needed this so badly after that horrible paper. <laughs> thanks, Amir. Very thoughtful of you. <laughs> no lah, it's just what friends do. Natalie, weren't you discharged this morning? What are you doing here? I came to look for you. Oh, why? These are for you. Cookies. You shouldn't have, but thank you. Oh, you still haven't accepted my Facebook friend request yet. Ah, uh, about that, Natalie. Um, you're my patient. I don't think it's appropriate for us to be Facebook friends. Oh, I see. You don't want your boss to be angry with you, right? Right. And Natalie, you should be resting at home. Don't come looking for me unless you have an appointment, okay? Okay. Good. Bye, Dr. Ajun. See you soon. Bye. Can I get ice lemon tea, please? Oh, sure. Hey, how's your exam? I'm just glad that I have somewhere to focus and get all my work done. That's good. TCH can get noisy though. My house is noisier. Construction right outside my window. Uh, my son, Ryan, was so noisy at home yesterday. I don't know how Joy and Ami could concentrate. Joy came to your place yesterday? Yeah, to study for Ami. Why? Nothing. They didn't mention it. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me go get the jug so we can refill our drinks. Uh, uh, let me do it. No, it's fine. You do it for me all the time. I can do it. You sure? Yeah. It's fine. Thanks. You know? Yeah. Yeah, careful, the floor is wet. Huh? Ma'am, why are you mopping? I'm just helping out. Ma'am, ask you? Yeah. No, 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 you cannot. Yeah, oh, don't worry, I'm a pro, remember? But... You can't work with your wrist like this. Just go and rest, okay? Rest? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. Ugh. TCH can get so noisy sometimes. Like... that guy. Mm. What do you think, Amir? Do you like studying here or at home? I can't study alone. TCH is good. What if we go over to your house? It's more quiet and you still have the company. Not a good idea. Why not? Ryan can get quite noisy. Here is better. Okay, if you say so. Hey, Ko. Hey. Just woke up. Yep. <clears throat> Ko. About Mel, huh? do you think she's okay? That night at dinner, she came on going to the toilet. Look, I'm keeping track of her meals, she's eating properly, and she's not hiding food. I checked. That's good. Look, I appreciate you looking out for Mel, but I'm also keeping an eye on her. You do know that I'm also looking out for you, right? You haven't been the same ever since you left the gym. I'm fine. I haven't cut out all my ties with the gym. I still have my shares. Okay, that's good. But I'm thinking about selling them. Okay, I don't really know what's going on between you and Wafik and that new investor. Yeah, you have no idea. But do you really have to give up the gym completely? Isn't there some way of compromising? 
<laughs> There's no way. Look, okay, don't worry, okay? I'm fine. Bro, if you take part in this special boss monster event, you'll get bonus currency. To buy even more fake wizard stuff. Exactly. Why not? You already got me addicted. Ah, that's the spirit. Hmm. The Silver Wizard event? You're playing too? I'm already ranked 50. Natalie, how did you find me here? Well, you said I needed an appointment to see you at the hospital, so I waited till you got out of the hospital. Natalie, that's... That's not what I meant. I already told you this is inappropriate. You're a patient, I'm a doctor. That's why I came to see you, Dr. Arjun. I need your help. And my muscle aches are not getting any better. I, I think I need another test. No, you don't. You, you just need to rest at home and stop running around. No, I, I really think I need more medicine, Dr. Arjun, please. Natalie, if you don't go home, I'm going to call your mother. Don't call her. If you leave on your own, I won't have to. You're just trying to get rid of me. Last chance, Natalie. Fine. Bro, is she stalking you? I guess what Zara said was right. Then what are you going to do now? I'll have to report this to Dr. Raja. You better do it fast before she spring any more surprises on you. I need to use the toilet. Um, Joy, you and Amir tell each other everything, right? Mm, no. What gave you that idea? I don't know. You guys talk a lot. We're friends, that's normal. <laughs> so, did Amir tell you that he thought I liked him? Yeah, and that he didn't. It was kind of weird, actually. Weird like how? I only said that because I thought that he was the one who liked me. Really? He got me those purple kiwi concert that time. Just for the two of us. When I was in the hospital? Yeah. You sure you're not overthinking it? I don't know. You know what guys are like. Maybe he's too shy to tell you the truth. Nah. I think you're overthinking it. How do you know? Well, like you said, he tells me everything. Yeah, but he, he wouldn't tell you about him liking another girl, would he? So how was it anyway? What? When he asked that if you liked him. Must have been embarrassing, hmm? No. Not at all. What's there to be embarrassed about? Good. So I was obvious. I wonder who was being more obvious. I have no idea what you're talking about. Raja, do you have a moment? It's about Natalie, the girl we discharged this morning. She has been following me around. I think she's got the wrong idea. But I've treated her like I treat any other patients. Are you finished? Yes. I know this situation more than you do, apparently. Oh, how do you know? Dr. Zara told me that Natalie followed you to lunch. Oh. Uh... I mean, I, I didn't think the situation would get You should have known better, Dr. Arjun. You should have read the signs. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll speak to Natalie's parents. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Dr. Raja. Amir, can I ask you something? Yeah? Why did you ask Mandy out to the Purple Caring concert? Huh? You know... When I was in the hospital, Purple Keering were in town, my favorite band. You bought tickets for her, and I was gutted, honestly. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you serious? No, no. I mean... 
I didn't buy many those tickets. She bought them. She gave me yours. I don't even like purple keyring. I just went there to buy you stuff. Wait, what? Yeah. Why? What happened? So she was lying this whole time. About what? She said that you asked her out. Oh God, I was gutted for nothing. <sighs> you sure you didn't remember wrongly? I don't think Mandy would do something like that. Of course she would. I mean, can't you see that she just wants to have more couple time with you? <sighs> oh. Can't believe her. <sighs> Joy, calm down. That was long ago. Doesn't matter anymore. I'm calm. Okay, just go back to studying. I'm fine. What what exactly happened? It's true. Mem is really going to send me home. How do you know? She asked Mem Diana to clean because I'm so stupid and hurt my wrist. She's really going to send me home. So sorry, Wati. Maybe, maybe it's not so bad. I can go home and see my children. Yes, yes, that's good, right? But I go home with no job. Why if I cannot find a job with a good pay? Then I cannot support my family. Then I cannot... Wati, you will. I'm sure you're going to find a good job. Don't give up hope. <laughs> I got this to share. We all deserve it. Thanks, Manly. Yeah, thanks. Mm. Oh, you got something. Sorry, I thought there was a crumb there. Really? Yeah, I really saw it. Because your memory can be a bit dodgy sometimes. Like what? Like when you remember that Amir bought you tickets to Purple Keering, but you actually bought them for yourself. That's not true. Do you think I'm an idiot? Amir's right here, of course I'd ask him. Shut up, Joy. I'm not the only one who lied. Yesterday you both said you were going home, but you went to study together by yourself. How did you even... Why would you even lie about it? Is it because you're dating and I'm the third now? I thought so. Sayang. Hey, Sayang. Sayang. Uh, there's something I need to tell you. I promise not to tell, but I need to tell. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. What is it, Sayang? You know the investor at Adam's Gym? That cop young guy? He's working for Peter T. What? I didn't know how to tell you. Oh, Wafik accepted it because the gym was doing so badly after Adam's match-fixing thing. They really needed the money. Is that why Adam left? N no, he doesn't know about Peter Tay. Well, he has a right to know. He'll just blame you. Like he always does. Blame you for all the problems in his life. Use you as a punching bag. Nothing good can come out of telling him. There's nothing he can do anyway. I can't believe you went to Dr. Raja. Hmm. Someone had to. I was going to tell him myself. I tried to warn you, but Natalie, you wouldn't listen. She hadn't done anything at that time. Of course she did. You just didn't see it. Or maybe you didn't want to. Your ego got in the way you wanted to be Dr. Popular. And your doctor know it all, everyone else can go to hell? You should have talked to me first before you went on to score brownie points with Dr. Raja by telling on me. Fine. I apologize for not checking with you first. But I won't apologize for going to Dr. Raja. You refused to listen to me when I tried to warn you about Natalie. I had to protect you and this hospital. Hey. Hey, Diana. Sorry. I talked to God today. How did it go? He thinks Melissa's fine. <sighs> I hope he's right. Mm. Mm. I asked him to reconsider going back to the gym. He really doesn't want to do that. 
But he still has his shares, so financially, I think he should be okay. Oh, thanks for talking to him. No problem. Go seems a lot calmer today. Oh, good. Mm. Um, have you had dinner? No, I had to rush off for another job after I left Jay's. There's food in the fridge. Just warm it up. Okay. Thank you, Ma. Sure. Sayang, sounds like Adam has calmed down. Maybe no point telling him about Peter now and get him angry all over again. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I'll tell him when he's ready to hear it. You feeling okay? After what happened with Mandy? Yeah, I'm just worried. I mean, what if she tells someone about us? Do you think she will tell your family? I mean, she was really upset. Mandy, uh, what are you doing here? I took a notebook by Xena just now, so I went to return it. I passed it to Latika. Uh, is that all you did? I mean, you didn't tell anyone about Amir and me, right? No, I won't tell anyone. Sorry for summing up just now. I'm really happy for you. I'm just upset that you lied to me. Sorry, Mandy. Yeah, we didn't mean to lie to you. We just didn't want my mom to find out. It's fine. As long as we're still friends. Boyfriend, girlfriend, and friend. Restored my heart to an overflow. You give me joy unspeakable. I'm free. Sorry. She's not picking up your call. She's with Latika at home. She'll be fine. Hmm. Day by day, I understand her less and less. That's very normal for kids at that age. Speaking from personal experience, or what am I talking about? You work with kids every day. I do. I'm also speaking from personal experience as a father.